What's up, Kia2 Technical? I'm back again with another video today, and I'm just going to show you how to customize your iPhone lock screen running on iOS 18. So let's get right into the video. So this is your current lock screen. This is what it looks like. And if you just tap and hold down here, Hold on, let's see here. Tap and hold the screen. Then you will get this thing that says customize. At the bottom there it says customize. So all you want to do is hit it just like that. And it's going to give you two pages so you can customize your lock screen. I want to click on that. So you can come up here and customize this here. If you have different widgets, you can change it to your weather, your uh, calendar, Snapchat. I have it to just say Wednesday, October the 30th. You can have it saved to for up, upcoming events, your clock, your alarms, uh, Facebook birthdays, fitness, health. Like if you take pills and what pills you need to take at a certain time, reminders, Snapchat, so on and so on but right now I currently have mine set to show Wednesday October the 30th and then you also have access to changing the color of the clock right now I'm rocking with a yellow wallpaper so that is why I have a yellow clock color right here but you do get other choices you can change the clock font style if that's something that you're into and you can come over here and slide it to make it bigger or smaller if you want to like I said this is something new with iOS 18 and I'm actually glad that Apple incorporated this into their iOS software and then you also come down here and you can change the different colors that you want if you wanted to match your wallpaper so that was the time and then if you come here this is where you can tap and add different kind of widgets so you come here you can add a google widget your uh, battery percent widget you get your weather widget you get facebook birthdays a quick access to instagram google uh that's a uh, widget widget that's the widget that i'm currently using you get snapchat login your calendar if you have any kind of reminders another facebook widget and then you get another widget widget and these are pretty much the widgets that you can add and use right now you get a widget for your jet gpt so if you download an app and it has a widget that you can put on your home lock screen it will allow you to do that but i usually just put the battery present there and put the google search bar there that way i can have easy access to searching the internet i don't have to actually unlock my phone just to do it all i would have to do is click on it and just like that i have easy access to unlocking my phone you can change if you hit this button here you can change your wallpaper but I'm not going to do that, but you can go there and change your wallpaper. You can slide it to get a different color kind of effect. If that's something that you want to do, you get your pinch to zoom to make it bigger or smaller. But I'm going to leave it just like that. You get these three dots over here. So you get show photo to show your photo library or extend wallpaper that is making it bigger or smaller. And you might be asking, what are these two buttons down here? So this is to where you can have easy access to certain kind of apps. So if you click on it, it gives you a whole slew of apps that you can use. So you have access to your calculator, your alarm, dark mode, shortcut, uh, Shazam, your timer, your app, open app, stopwatch, uh, screen, oh, scan code, flashlight, camera. We no longer need access to put, we no longer need to put the camera there since we have the camera control button. So I won't even add that. And as you can see, I use, I don't even have anything added. And then I also get one for black magic camera. You get one for the camera, uh, the QR coder again, that's the black magic one again, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, open chat, 
GBT, open chat GBT voice. I can do the alarm, the timer, the stopwatch. I can have airplane mode, cellular data, personal hotspot, brightness. There's Instagram again. If I had a Apple TV, I could do the Apple remote, shortcuts, Siri, Snapchat again. You can get silent mode, Shazam. So say I wanted to just look up something, a uh, song real quick. All I have to do is just click that there and Shazam will be right there. And then I can also come over here and have access to changing it to whatever one I want or go or my Apple wallet. If I want to put that in there, we can go put that in there. And if I lock my home screen, this is what my home screen is going to look like, but I didn't save that. So let me go back into that and do that over. You do want to make sure that you save all of your changes. So I'm going to go do this again. I'm going to add that, that there. Then I'm going to go here and do, let's just put the jet chat GPT. And then let's just put Snapchat right there. And then you want to come up to done. And just like that, you have a more customizable different looking lock screen so if i want to get right into my snapchat all i have to do is just press and hold it and it'll open up my snapchat camera just like that and if i want to do some jet gpt press and hold it unlock your phone and just like that you have easy access to using jet GBT, if that's something that you are into. I just wanted to make a how to video to show you that you can customize your iPhone lock screen if you're running on iOS 18. Hope you found this video helpful, and I will catch you in the next one. I'm at.